Hail to the king, baby. We're gonna hang ourselves a tricolor and say it's an Irish pub. Uh, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rano Beer Review. Today we're gonna drink some beers. Today's beer is right here. This is from Innocent Gun. This is a limited edition beer. This is Frankincense. It is 5.8% alcohol. Is that it? What it says, or is it 5.0? No, that's 5.8. That's 5.8. Okay. So, so if if you didn't know this, 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 this actually, if if you can believe it, there's gold in here. There's gold. That was that was in the marketing email they sent me. Uh, what do we have here? Um... Just looking to see if there's an actual ingredients list. Doesn't look like it, to be honest. Okay, we have, uh, we have gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And now, there, there's one that I have to look up. I'm... I know most ingredients, no clue what the fuck myrrh is. I won't lie to you, no clue what the fuck myrrh is. Um, I'm gonna raise you guys a little bit more. There we go, there we go. Let's pop it open. Get it in this glass. We're not going to pour the whole thing in because we need some for our live stream that we're going to do. So, uh, there we go. That's good. Um, hard water deposits. I gotta, you know, they, I keep getting... I keep getting pushed to put a uh, water softener in and I keep saying no. Uh, but, in all honesty, between the amount of brushes I buy to clean this shit, it might be cheaper for me to put the water softener in. Uh, golden color though, carbonation moving, slightly off white head, nice snap, crackle, pop, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, scent. Okay, you know what? Out of the bottle, out of the bottle there is a, there's a slight sweet smell and a slight uh, slight sulfuric like gyro lager smell out of the glass the glass kind of smells like uh, almost like a macro beer to be honest with you it has that that sulfuric scent it has that uh, that almost watered down maltiness it doesn't smell bad it just it's not what I expect from an innocent gun product let's try it cheers Doesn't taste bad. Tastes basically like a beer. I mean, it's a beer. A little bit more bitter on the back end than I'm used to from a uh, Innocent Gun product. Very earthy, very, very resiny too. There's a little bit of that resininess there. Sweet on the forefront, very bitter on the back end, pungent bitter. It reminds me of a mainstream beer from Innocent Gun, like more mainstream than some of the beers they've made. It just reminds me of a, of your average Euro ale, basically. I, I would say Euro lager, but this is more like those, those like, this is more like the export ales that come over here from, from Europe. Um, it's not a bad beer. Out of 10? A six? I don't mind this. I don't mind it at all. I just don't think I'd go out and buy it personally myself. I'd buy it to try it that first time or maybe to share it with somebody that hasn't had it, but I wouldn't buy it to drink on the regular. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir, Aviento. See you soon. Bye-bye.